for the best water deals in town, your local needs. Fill up your 18.9 liter for the low price of only $2 or your 4 liter for only 50 cents. Pure Aqua Valley Water. Coach McDonald joining me here to talk about the Sydney Mitsubishi Rush and uh, the season. Uh, let me we start by take us back to training camp and knowing fully well that you've got a team that's going to host the TELUS Cup in two years. Yeah, I think what we tried to do in camp was take the youngest team possible. I mean, a couple situations arose where maybe some certain guys didn't end up coming back or whatever it may be, but we were super happy as a staff to have as young as a team as we did. And, and uh, we knew it was going to be a process, but to their credit, they've been committed all year to this point and moving forward, I'm sure. So it's been great. It's been really good. With such a young team, you definitely, you're definitely expecting some turbulence. And so you, you just try and battle through it. And, and at the end of the day, you know you'll come out of it as long as everyone's staying on the same page and, and confident with that. And, and that's what we did. So, you know, we'll keep on going and keep on building and go from there. The way it worked out and the way we kind of constructed it is every single player on our team can return, obviously, with Junior and uh, the Quebec League. There's, there's always different situations that arise, so we'll be prepared for that. But, no, we're, uh, we're excited for this group and, and uh, obviously just going to try and keep building and not look too, too far ahead. And, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be it's going to be good. We have no third-year midgets. We have no 17s. These kids are all 15 and 16, and, and in reality, all these kids on our team are eligible to come back for next year's Tellus Cup team. Will they all be back? Time will tell that. The coaching staff are going to have a very difficult time selecting our team for Tellus Cup, but the idea was to make sure that we had a core here, and uh, I believe we do. And... Are we totally pleased that we're at the bottom of the league? Absolutely not. But we live in reality here. We know with 13 first-year midgets, we're not gonna, you're not going to dominate this league. This is a tough league. Most teams that are successful in this league have very good 17s, and uh, we will have very good 17s next year. So uh, we're taking a few bumps, but we see great progression amongst our players. So... We're happy where we're at. We could be nice to have a few more W's, but listen, we're ha it's about progress and it's about development. So, a really young team. I think we're the youngest in the league, and I think as the season's going on, we're getting better. And it's just little mistakes that I think we can correct quickly. Tell me about uh, the players. Uh, was there frustration mounting? Uh, obviously, there's a lot of noise uh, outside the room, but uh, tell me a little bit how you handle that. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, with Telescope coming on, all the boys want to make uh, their names heard for next year and. Uh, you know, it's a young team, and they're just trying to get a little of a teaching lesson here. Obviously, actually in Adam, I started off in house, and I just got pushing forward, like, through the years, just working my way, working my way, and obviously to have a national championship be playing is just surreal. Are you confident this team could can compete at a national championship in a year and a half? Yes, for sure. We're a very young team, and I think we're just going to get better and better as the year goes on. Yeah, well, the start of the season was definitely slow. We fought a lot of adversity. We have the youngest team in the league, no third years, which, uh, which was hard. For sure, everybody had to get used to the league, but I think we overcame it and everybody started stepping up. It's now it's January, we try to make it so there's no first years, we're all veterans and we all try to play our role. Do you see the growth in your team, you and your teammates? Do you see, do you see the improvement, the development? Yeah, well there's definitely uh, an improvement with like just us playing together. We all came together and kind of had a bond, especially after Monktonian as we've seen what we could do as a team when we all play together, for sure. Playing on this team, the opportunity uh, for you uh, tell me a little bit about it going into camp, uh, not knowing if you're going to make the team for one and, and uh, the player you've become today. Well, it was tough, but uh, since the TELUS Cup is upcoming, we knew that they were going to try to take a young team, but it was definitely a lot of nerves going through. But I just had to try to play my game and show them what I could do. Short-term goal, obviously, um, for me personally, I'd love to go as far in the playoffs as we can this year. Our long-term goal uh, for me we have the TELUS Cup, um, that's great. Um, just a terrific community event. But the key now, we don't want to just participate in the TELUS Cup. We want to be at the dance. My goal, get to Saturday night. Um, we get in the top four of the TELUS Cup, you get in the semifinals, and let's flip a coin and let's go at it and uh, see what happens. So, Is there any doubt in your mind that 
by the time you reach, not this April, but next April, that you'll have a team that'll contend for the, for the telescope? No, there's no doubt in my mind. I, I think, you know, just seeing the commitment level of our team and, and, you know, I know there's some guys in the wings that are hoping to, hoping to be here next year. Like, I, I think once April, May rolls around next year, we're going to be ready and, and extremely excited for that opportunity to play a national for a national title on home ice. It's, it'll be very special. So.